New details on the death of a University of Missouri student. In Nashville, police say a preliminary autopsy report shows that Riley Strain's death appears accidental. The 22-year-old went missing, as we've reported, in Nashville after being kicked out of a bar. After two weeks, his body was discovered Friday in a river near that bar. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signs one of the country's most restrictive social media bans for minors. It bans accounts for children under 14 and requires parental permission for 15 and 16-year-olds. The new law is expected to face legal challenges if it withstands those challenges, though. The law goes into effect January 1st of next year. State of Oklahoma activating members of the local National Guard to help with the influx of tourists heading to view the solar eclipse. Some of the counties in the path of totality are expecting as many as 100,000 people. The goal is for the Guard to help lighten the load for local emergency workers. The eclipse, by the way, April the 8th, and areas of southern Illinois and central Indiana are in the path of totality. File this one under world records you did not know existed. A man in New York officially set a new Guinness World Record title for the most lunges in an hour. That's got to hurt. With 2,825 lunges. Wow. Austin Head says to train for this, he got weekly IVs, used brief red light therapy, and did cold plunges. In addition to breaking the record, he also raised nearly $8,000 to support free athletic programs in New York City. So that's part of the story. Let's go to California where the CHP reminding everybody you can't use the carpool lane if you don't have real people in your vehicle. Some guy decided to put a t-shirt and a bucket hat on his passenger seat to pose as the real deal. Uh, drivers can use a fast track transponder to keep track of the number of passengers in their vehicle to get a discount on tolls. Well, a cop spotted this guy with the imaginary buddy and of course, I believe that ticket it used to be almost $300. I think it's even more now. Well, this is pretty sweet. Traditionally, flower girls and weddings are young girls, but one bride in Tennessee is making her own rules. The grandmothers of the bride and groom were flower girls for the big day, both helping each other down the aisle, tossing petals along the way. The photographer who captured the pair walking down the aisle says it has been his most popular video shared on social media.